everyone, so me and Tom have come to Swinley Forest. We are in the summit now. I've come to Swinley Forest a few times because um, they've got trails like the blue and the red trail to ride and have seen this being built and I'm super excited to actually get to ride it today. So good. Tom, Tom Reynolds, Reynolds, you're a legend. Yeah. <laughs> He's built an absolute mar well and all the other guys at, at yeah. this place. They've built this absolute masterpiece which is just full of jumps, drops, for all abilities, which is the best thing. Yeah. Progressive sort of riding is what it's yeah, all about. Yeah, definitely. And this place definitely caters for that. And it's definitely going to help me as well, because obviously where I'm a beginner, to come to somewhere like this, where there's different levels, Perfect. is the dream. So drop let's him? drop straight in. We're at the top of the Enduro line. So let's do you it. ready? Yeah. So that section was so cool. The berms are actually so high, which is good because you can go zoom in down there, which is sick. So I think we're gonna go and find the jumpy section now and give that a go. So let's pedal back to the top again. I don't know, okay. is it a gap? Go. Or? So we've actually come to the progressive drop section, which you would have seen in the last couple of clips. I bailed on the last um, drop, but this is literally exactly what I've been looking for, something like this to practice. So it starts off smaller at the top, and then as you come down the line here, you get bigger and bigger until you get to this one, which is a lot bigger. But then on the other side, so that's the right side, on the left side as you come down, they are a lot bigger. So. It's awesome that they've got like a beginner progressive line and then obviously an expert or harder line where it gradually gets bigger and bigger. So I'm going to session this for a bit because I think it's so good that there's especially in a straight line as well because it becomes harder when you have to try and link it into like berms and stuff but and carry speed also which I'm terrible at but yeah I'm going to keep sessioning this bit and hopefully eventually hit the end one. Right, I've come away from the drop section because that last drop's really scaring me and it's tripping me out. So I'm going to do the dual slalom just to take my mind off it and have a bit more time on the bike because we've only been here like 10 minutes, 20 minutes if that. So I'm going to ride the dual slalom and then hit hopefully the big drop and then maybe even the red jumps. I've been looking at them. I just stood there for about five minutes thinking that I'd do it and then I came <coughs> over here, so. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Car. How was the dual slalom? It's really good fun, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Do you it. want to race? Love a race. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, maybe when I finish, then drop in. Yeah, when you're, <coughs> when you're just by the end. My voice has gone funny. <laughs> I've got a cold. <coughs> My throat's just gone weird. Excuses, that cool. is. Yeah. Right, let's drop him. Here we go. Dropping it in. Pumping. This is really good fun, actually. Pump. Pump. Oh, I can hear him. I'm going to pedal. <laughs> pump, 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 pump. <laughs> I was in the wrong gear. Oh. We've now moved on to the red, the red jump section, 
which is scary because you have to carry your speed around the berms in order to clear the jumps and I've not perfected that but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I might just have to roll them but we'll see. So see I'm going to drop in right now. Okay, here we go. Little jump there, around the berms. Whoa, that's a sharp one. Okay, into the big ones. Yeah. Right, that one definitely requires a bit more practice. I definitely need to work on my berms. But me and Tom were just talking about it and we're going to do teaching me berms on Tom's channel teaching soon. So that will help. Like berms, do you, no, I don't like... Well, you don't like know how to do them. No, I don't know how to do them. So to carry speed to get to clear a jump, I can't do. So I think I need to break it down, practice berms first, practice then jumps, to then put them together to do them. But those last three at the end are perfect because they're in a straight line. So... Um, they're pretty cool but we are going to go and see what else we can find here as well okay so we've just come across and actually some of you might have seen on social media their like main feature here like what would you call it like drop zone. the wow factor feature superhero drop are drop the zone. superhero section so you've got this one which is the black one it's 12 foot and as you can see they've put these bars across here so that people just don't come and Basically, send it Basically, because it's it's a public day yeah for the for the people to ride obviously little drops and the smaller stuff over this side which you can still get hurt on is dangerous but this is like if you got that and you get it wrong then it's going to be a massive yeah. massive accident yeah so. but then here is the eight foot one so 12 foot eight foot yeah and i'll just walk around to the bottom so you can see just how big they are because from the top it doesn't look that bad so this is quite cool this uh contraption this is what though like like it's actually good to see that because you've never seen a drop that big no this is what like drops at contests are like when i used to do slope start competitions yeah competitions. so this it's like jumping like, off a building well, this side is, this size drop is what you'd have to flip and 360 off of wow which is terrifying <laughs> yeah like you imagine that at the start of your run every time you've got a spin off of it crazy isn't it and then this is the lander here gives you sleepless nights <laughs> But obviously, I'm not going to be hitting this today, and Tom's you're not going to either because it's, it's quite windy. It's windy as well. Yeah, and it is shut as well. Yeah, but 100% we'll be back here because it's such a cool place, and we'll do a full-on sesh with these. Well, Tom will, I won't. Yeah, but for now we're going to do the loam track, which is actually here, and uh, it. see how that is. It looks quite good. I quite like that kind of riding. It's downhilly. <laughs> And awesome so let's hit it following Tom down the lane blow it yes technical loaming sick that's so good We've now moved completely to the other side of the arena, I'm going to call it, the summit. <laughs> the summit, and we've come to the fundamentals zone, which I've only just discovered, and it's so cool. So you've got, uh, what's that, pump, drop, jump, blue green, corners, green corners. green corners. So I'm going to kick things off with the blue drops, so hopefully that'll build me up to then send the massive ones. Here we go, dropping in. Literally for the drops. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're into the cornering now. Blue corners. Oh, this is so good. Maybe. Oh, it's quite tight. Nice. Oh, rollers. Bump it. 
Okay, I know we've just done the blue corners, but let's try the green ones. Oh gosh. So it's all about carrying speed. Sick, that's cool. This little area is so sick. It's all about like... Fundamental. It's actually not a bad thing coming to this little section just to perfect the basics again. Cause no. like sometimes if you've not been on the bike for a little while or I don't know, like today I've got a new brake on there um, that I'm not used to. It can affect your whole like riding. riding ability. Yeah, so coming back here is insane. So I'm gonna hit the little drops again and then we'll go back to the big ones. Okay. Little drops. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Second one. One. Two. Yeah. Three. Oh my god, that was so sick. I've literally been building up to that all afternoon. I've kept looking at it, then going away from it, and then coming back, but super stoked that i sent it it actually wasn't so bad like it's again mind over matter all the time like in your head you feel like it's going to be um bad but actually it's just the same as the other ones like the same technique just a heavier landing but super stoked with that that is the end of the video now i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you very soon bye